Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 Portable. Last time we did Mission 290, which is a submarine mission about going around and trying to find the super weapons engines, namely dual craters engines, because they're still emitting some noise. So we went and looked for those and we found them. And there was some weird video glitchiness uh, last episode, and I apologize for that. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. And if it does, I'm going to do a little more work to try and fix it. Now, out of the gate, uh, I should mention that um, this episode and the next episode are going to be recorded at the same time, like in the same session, because I'm going to dedicate Friday's recording time entirely to Star Wars Battlefront 2's campaign, so I can just binge straight through that in one go. And, um, yeah, so, therefore, I will not be, I won't have time to record Battlefield 1 and Worship Gunner 2 Portable tomorrow, so I'm doing a double recording session tonight. So... Battlefield 1 episodes... what? I don't know. Um, missions 2 and 3 in Friends in High Places are were recorded at the same time, or in the same night, and then I'm, I'm also going to do this episode and the next episode of Worship Gunner 2 Portable tonight. So, yeah, just so that you guys know, there's a batch recording in case you want to leave any comments um, about suggestions and stuff. Just know that that's, that's why comments left on this video will not be implemented into the next video because of that. So anyways, that out of the way, we got mission 300 here and it is a doozy of a mission. Um, I want to actually try to bring the aircraft carrier. Um, but first I should look at what planes the aircraft carrier has because that's going to matter quite a bit. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I do want to try to use the carrier though because the carrier is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, and I want to see if we can maybe get some more use out of this. So that must be the fighter. That's definitely the bomber. And that is the interceptor. Um, five, seven, six. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with one, one less of these and one more of those. There we go. So we took off a bomber and we put on an interceptor. Um, and that should help us out in this mission. So yeah, let's get started. Mission 300 with uh, with these guys. The hardest part is going to be finding the... What is it? The treasure. Um, because I won't have... I won't have a scout plane to go and look for it. Or an anti-sub plane to go and look for it. Or an anti-sub helicopter would work too, but... Um, yeah, I didn't even think to put them on before I came into this mission here. Oh well, should be should be fine. Um, I think I have a pretty rough idea of where it is, in theory. So, yeah. This is, uh, weird. It looks like the screen is like doing a weird wobbly thing. I don't know, on my screen too, not on the recording screen. Pretty interesting. I was I, this was this was always my biggest fear um, about trying to record anything on the PSP was like is it going to like it works but does it work quite as well as other stuff? Nah, not really. But it does work. Um, oh, also in regards to the cropping, that was the other thing that I couldn't actually fix last time because the auto, like the automatic prompt to fix the cropping that usually shows up in the the video manager part of YouTube or whatever. Yeah, that didn't show up last time. I don't know why. It never showed up. I even checked it like after I got home from college, long after the video was already public and everything. Still wasn't there, so I've got to figure out something to do with the cropping um, so that I don't have to rely on YouTube's automatic system to suggest it to me. But there doesn't seem to be a way for me to record it with better, without the black bars on the side. I messed around with some of the aspect ratios and stuff. And apparently, the small screen, like what you saw in last episode, is 16.9. It's just PSP 16.9. It's so, it's um, still kind of small. So I need to figure out how I'm going to fix that. Um, I... The problem is, there's, there's three phases in the whole process where I might have been able to fix it. The first one was recording, uh, which as I just said, won't work. Um, the second phase is in Movie Maker. Let's see if I can crop it in there. Um, I haven't tried that yet, um, but I'm going to have to look at it this time. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to have to keep relying on YouTube to suggest the cropping, uh, 
upgrades, or cropping updates to me. Or cropping improvements, as they say. So, yeah. That kind of sucks. I really hope I can crop these videos in Movie Maker, just to get rid of all the black stuff on the sides and uh, make the screen a little bit bigger. So, yeah, this map is absolutely massive, and I'll probably be cutting out a lot of the intermittent uh, sailing and stuff in between the fights. And, uh, obviously, whoopsies, there was a little bit of dialogue there that zoomed by as I was mashing the button. <laughs> I, that, I don't like it when that happens, but... Um, yeah, well, as I was saying, this is this is totally how aircraft carriers fought in, in World War II, and, and even today, this is exactly how aircraft carrier combat takes place. I mean, it's, it's perfect. This is exactly what happens. No discrepancy at all there. Ooh, is that a funds crate I see? It is a funds crate I see. I want it. Is that a funds crate I see? No, that's a health crate. I don't care. I don't want you, health crate. I don't need you. That is an impressive rainstorm of artillery there. Oh, they hurt when they hit. If they hit. Which is the first part. My... Aircraft's bombs are doing significant amount of significant amounts of damage too, which is nice to see. There we go. Got that guy. There's another battleship in there. Let's sink him. As soon as we can. There we go. Cruisers. They're done. We got more battleships. More battleships. Where's that other battleship? There's another battleship in the middle there. I can't seem to. There we go. Find him. And the cruisers. Like so. Oh, is that the whole mission already? I guess so. Alright, well, there's some more stuff to kill, and I'm gonna find the treasure. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll probably start seeing some cuts now. Nope, another message from Nagi here. Oh yes, aircraft carriers show up too. I remember them. That's why I actually swapped out a bomber for an interceptor, because I knew that these guys would be showing up. Speaking of our aircraft, we seem to have lost one at some point. I would guess it was one of the uh, SB-2Cs. But, um, yeah, they are the uh, most an antiquated planes that we have on here. I suppose it could have been an interceptor too, because the interceptors right now are just flying around, not doing anything, not defending themselves at all, because they're just interceptors. They don't have bombs or anything, so it could have been, could have been one of the interceptors. The jets are definitely doing the heavy lifting right now, but you kind of expect that. Oh, come here, you! Don't run. There you go. Another fun crate there. I want that, and then we'll turn around and deal with the aircraft carriers. Health crate, meh. Ah uh, yes, now we see the magnificent battle for air superiority taking place. I do have uh, my interceptors out there, which are still prop planes, but they're good prop, prop planes. And then I do have my, my fighter jets out there as well to help out. And now I've got my hand angles going. This is going to be this is going to be a breeze. So I should mention for clarity's sake, um, I'm batch recording. I'm batch recording right now because I want to be able to put up. Um, I want to be able to put up a Battlefield One episode and a Warship Gun Two Portable episode on Saturday, so I can start actually posting the Battlefront Two Let's Play on Sunday, and then that hopefully will last from Sunday until. Um, from Sunday until uh, next Sunday, basically. Um, so, yeah. Basically, I need the I need Star Wars Battlefront 2 to last a week, pretty much. 
I've heard that the campaign is kind of short, but outside of that I don't know anything else about it. I haven't had it spoiled for me. I've been deliberately avoiding spoilers um, so that it's not ruined for me. But as a, a minor Star Wars nerd, I'm super excited to play it. <laughs> So that's the aircraft carriers dealt with, and now I gotta go find the treasure, which is going to be interesting without the aid of a scout plane. But I do have these lock-on missiles, which will make that easier, so I'll bring you guys back when I finally find that. And it appears I have found the secret base. It's right over here. I knew it was near the center of the map, I just had to find the exact point where it was. So. Here's the big map, you can see where I am, and I'm using my, my lock-on missiles basically to find it more easily. But we'll go ahead and, and blow this thing up. Hopefully, sometimes these underwater bases glitch out and they don't actually, like, blow up. That one sounds like it did. It did! So there we go. As soon as I pick up the crate tool, I'll, I'll pull up the map again to show the more exact location of where it is. So, there I am, right there. So, ta-da! We got it, and we're uh, we're out of here. So we got that. And let, me, uh, let me pull up what the treasure actually is. Tekokante,撤退を開始しました。我が方の勝利です。状況を考えれば前線したと言えますが、今回の損害によって帝国も今後の作戦展開に。Oh, whoops. Man, I was doing so good with, with not doing that for a long time, and then I went and slipped up and did it there. I'm, I'm, I'm used to other games where, like, if a character's talking and there's text on the screen like that, usually if you press the button one time, it just fills in the rest of the text, but it lets them finish speaking at, like, normal speed and everything. It doesn't skip anything. I'm used to games like that. So that's how that keeps happening. So that treasure is anti-sub missile 1, um, which could be the big launcher version. Um, that's what I think it is. It's my best guess, really. Because um, it doesn't say VLS, it doesn't say rocket, it doesn't say underwater or anything like that. So I'm guessing it's just the basic above deck anti-sub missile launcher like exactly what you'd expect it to be Kanto しかし、先日の北海海戦で敵艦隊も相当な損害を受けたはずです。帝国としても、そう迂闊な動きはできないと思いますが。それはそうなのですが、警戒しておくに越したことはないと思います。うん。艦長、司令部より入電です。北海上
徴兵器は北海上空を低空で飛行中最終防空ライン到達まであとわずかです太平洋戦でのデータでは通常爆弾のほか艦砲やミサイルなどを装備している模様です Boy, remember a naval ops commander when this guy was a serious pain in the butt? Yeah, he's not in this game. Now, Doka Ekinite Shokai Nimu Chu de Atta Butaiga, Shosoko Tatimus. He's significantly easier in this game. Ocho Hekiva, Marde Kuraina Kuchu Yosai. Oku no Heso Tosai Stelimus. Cho Heki to Yudomo, Tano Koku Kuri, Kodo, Sokodo, O Havani Teka Sri Hazis. ロンドンは火の海に飲み込まれるだろう。そんだけは何としても防がねばならん。これまで徴兵器を何隻も撃沈してきた艦長にならきっとやれるでしょう。さあ、出撃の御命令を。本艦は徴兵器爆撃機の
start going down further here because 56 centimeter is the next step after 50.8 but you have to find at least one of them to start this part of the development tree and let me go ahead and check where we might find whoa where almost dropped my phone there where we might find a 56 centimeter cannon first so let's see that's el2 we don't want that what about this one Alright, looks like the first one we can find is by getting an S rank on mission 360. So we're pretty close. Um, we'll have to switch to normal difficulty to get that S rank. Hopefully I can remember that. Um, but that will allow us to get our 56 centimeter cannon and start that, uh, start that part of the research. So I think we will call that an episode. I think it's a little bit short because of all the stuff I had to cut out of that one mission, but... Um, Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching this episode of Worship Gunner 2 Portable. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.